Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're gonna look at Microsoft Teams and how to connect storage accounts like Dropbox and Google Drive to the Microsoft Teams app. So you probably already know that Microsoft Teams uses SharePoint for its storage. So when you upload a file, it ends up in a SharePoint site. But what you can also do in Microsoft Teams is manage your own personal storage. So you do that by going to the file section of the Teams app. And when you click on that, you're gonna see some views. So you'll be able to see your Microsoft Teams files, so all the files you have across Teams. But you also see this cloud storage section. And when you choose OneDrive, that's actually looking at your own personal OneDrive for business. And at the bottom here, you see I've got some cloud storage options. So I can click this button and it gives me four new options for adding storage to Microsoft Teams. So if I switch to my browser now, you can see here I've got a Google Drive that has files in it. And I've also got a Dropbox account that has another separate bunch of files in it. And what I can do with Teams is bring both of those together in one view. So switching back to Teams then, I'm gonna choose Dropbox. And the first thing it asks me to do is authenticate with Dropbox. And to do that, I'm gonna use Google because I use my Google account to authenticate with Dropbox. So choose the user. And it signs me in. And now I can see my Dropbox files in my Microsoft Teams app. And I can interact with those files so I can I get links for them. I can delete, move and copy and I can open them as well. And that will actually open it up in Dropbox. So it'll take me off to a new browser window and edit that file in Dropbox itself. So if I hit the Add Cloud Storage button again, and this time choose Google Drive, it's gonna ask me to authenticate in the same way, and I'm gonna use the same account, because that's what I've used. Um, you might see this app isn't verified, so Google doesn't treat Teams as a, a verified app. Um, so if you're not comfortable doing this after Google's warning, then don't. But if you are, you can go Advanced, and then go to Microsoft.com Unsafe here, and allow Teams to connect with Google. So you can hit allow there and you'll be taken through. And now I'm looking at my Google Drive files in my Teams app. So in this video, we looked at how to connect other cloud storage options to Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.